Hello guys, welcome back to Good Show Tips. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix iPhone keyboard not working, glitch or lag or stuck uh, in your iPhone or iPad after iOS 15 update and how you can fix this app. So let's get started. We have noticed that many users have reported the same. They are having trouble when they are trying to, you know, use the keyboard and they are having the errors and how you can completely fix this up. So let's get started with this. And the first method what you have, what I would like to make you notice is that if you are having too much running apps in the background, then that will be one of the reason which is causing you to have this issue. So I would like to make you notice that you have to check whether you are having too much running apps in the background. As you can see, I am having too much running apps. So all you have to do is you just have to clear these one by one. Okay, you have to clear these one by one and see whether the issue is solved or not. And if it's not working, then we have solution number two. Number two is you just have to tap on the settings. Now from here, you just have to tap on general. From here, you just have to scroll down and you have to go for transfer or reset iPhone. Now click over here, go for reset option. From here, you have an option called reset key all settings. You have to go for reset all settings, you just have to tap on it, give the respective passcode and go for it. Then try to see whether the issue is solved or not. And most probably by doing the first and second method, the issue has to be fixed. And if it's not working, then you don't have to worry, we have solution 3. Solution 3 is, it's very simple, as I mentioned earlier in all the videos, by doing sometimes a simple force restart, the issue has to be fixed, issue will be fixed. So in order to do a force restart, what you have to do is just have to press volume up button followed by volume down button, press and hold power button unless and until you see the Apple logo in the screen. This is what you have to do and if you are having any confusion, I will be providing a link in the description where you can go to the same video where we have explained very detailedly how you can do force restart or how you can do force restart on the latest models of an iPhone. So this is what it's all about and these are the things what you have to do. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out.